Oh, we definitely look weird. I think you should take a big video from your phone. Like, what is happening right now? He just turned around and looked at us. Okay, so, Erica, do you swear to tell the tea, all the tea, and nothing but the tea? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, first set of tea before we get our food. I got a retainer. And I can't talk and I have a list and stuff, so I'm gonna take it out. Ew. Alright, now we're ready to go. First bit of tea for you guys. We're in Applebee's. <laughs> and there's a tripod just chilling on the table. Okay, so first bit of real tea. So on Sunday, at church, these people were joking about Christian Mingle. I honestly don't even know the context of the conversation. I just like tuned in and I heard Christian Mingle and I said, I should try Christian Mingle. I should try Christian Mingle. So I, start, I literally started at Christian Mingle and didn't put a picture in because I was like, what if I... I don't know. I, I was too nervous to put a picture. I couldn't even find one I like. So I'm like, whatever. You can skip the picture. You just like don't show up for people. Okay, I hit like start, go, next, whatever it was, and the second person to pop up on the screen was a person I know, I know of really, I know, I have a so similar association with him, I don't know, I don't really know him, but, and we were a 96% match. <laughs> so then what'd you do? I immediately deleted, well, I screenshot it, I FaceTimed Erica, I laughed about it for like four minutes. Then I deleted my profile. So and that, my friends, is why you don't do online dating at all. So I dropped out of Christian Mingle. So I put on my Instagram that people could ask questions um, that they want us to answer. And the f one of the questions I got asked was, who did I call in the fall bucket list video? I'm not going to tell you that. All I will tell you is it's not somebody I would have actually dated, so it's like okay that they said no. It's like no harm, no foul. I wouldn't date this person anyway. So. We got a question asking, how's college, bro? So Abby, how's college, bro? Um, college is going decently well. A lot better than last semester, spring semester, so I really can't complain. By comparison, I'm thriving. Um, I'm the complete opposite. <laughs> By comparison, I'm falling in a deep, dark hole. Um, but, so I'm taking anatomy, which is hard, and none of my classes have ever been hard. So, I'm dying, but I took a test today that I've been studying for for a while. I don't think it was too bad. I'm aiming for like a C. Okay, so we got our food. I got the Belcher sampler appetizer thing with spinach and artichoke dip and the pretzels and beer cheese and a chicken quesadilla and I got some boneless barbecue wings 10 of them and a side of fries because we're good today mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wow we got a request um, to talk about high school versus college and like the major differences and like which is better so the major differences is like there's the structure like everything the structure is so different like it's so much more chill and like as far as which is better it I don't know I go back and forth because overall I guess college is better but like I was big thriving in high school I was big fish in a little pond now I'm teeny tiny fish in a I don't know ocean and so as far as like being involved I was so involved in high school and like I'm not involved in college so stuff like that makes me like high school more but like today I had three classes and two of them were canceled so I had one class so as far as that goes college is better just so much more freedom and, and like we, there's still like more work or at least more work you have to do outside so it's like all right do all of this before class because I'm not gonna teach you it mm -hmm. and so like there's still more work and I think like what you were saying it like depends on the person like I kind of like that like I'm a little fish in a big pond I kind of like that. I like it sometimes yeah you can but then really sometimes fly it's the like, radar yeah but then sometimes it's like weird unpopular opinion college edition I love my huge lecture hall classes 
when you go on visits, they're always like, your first course it'll be huge luck your halls, but then once you really get into your major, you have small class sizes, um, all this crap. I love my big lectures. Nobody knows if you're there. Nobody cares if you're there. You're not getting called out in class. Like the professor doesn't know your name. I like that. Yeah, I love flying under the radar and just getting my grade. It all depends, but I overall think that college is better. I forgot about high school. Yeah, overall college better. This is an interesting question. If you could travel anywhere, where and why? I've always wanted to go to Greece, but I want to go to a lot of places, so I don't know how to answer this question, but like, just since I've always wanted to go to Greece, just because like, I feel like, I feel like there is like some like touristy attractions, but I feel like overall it's like such a laid back like place where like everything's just pretty, you know? So like you don't, you can just walk around and like see like prettiness rather than like, Oh, going to see the Eiffel Tower. Like, I don't know. I've never been, so I don't know what to <laughs> Um, I feel like the easy answer is, like, somewhere out of the country. And, like, I do, there are places out of the country I want to go, but there's so many places in the United States mm -hmm. I want to go. You know where I really want to go. Where? That spot where you can stand in four states at once. I don't even remember what the four states are, but they all come together at a corner. No. <laughs> They all come together at a corner. I'm sure people are like, you idiot. Like, it has to be like Colorado or something, the ones that are square. Yes, and there's that corner <laughs> where they all come together. <laughs> you're, you're correct. And um, you can stand there and you're in four states at once. I really just want to do that. I don't know. It was on a TV show or something once, and I've wanted to do it ever since. So, This chicken quesadilla is seriously so good. I love chicken quesadillas. <laughs> You're such a child. <laughs> One of my little underage friends asked when I'm taking when we are taking her to a party. The answer is never. So <laughs> when are we Stop going asking. to a party? Back. <laughs> never. The next one is where do you see yourself in five years? Five years from now. I will be married. I will be on my third year of marriage. I will either be well into my career. Or I would have just finished grad school, depending on if I go to grad school, is what the kicker is there. We'll have a nice apartment. I will have at least one dog, maybe two. I'll hopefully be skinnier than I am now, but probably not. <laughs> so I'll be an occupational therapist. I will just finish grad school, either just finish or like be out for like a year. I'll be married for like two years. <laughs> This is real to you from all my like family <laughs> watching. <laughs> Since like I just graduated, I'll probably be not have a kid yet. Maybe be pregnant or something. I don't know. Um, I'll live in an apartment probably and have a dog. Just like Abby. maybe be house shopping to the hour with child. True. Another question um, is just like opinion on visco girls or like unpopular opinions on visco girls um i might like join in on the jokes of visco girls but honestly the only reason i'm not a visco girl is i'm not young enough slash cool enough to be a visco girl like <laughs> <I said> true. <laughs> but right now i'm just a girl who likes scrunchies Where are we the girls who are actually visco girls are the ones who like are pretending their scrunchies indie and like posting it on their visco but like i feel like it's just the trends right now to it use is. scrunchies and no it literally is like i have crocs i have vans i never i didn't even know what a visco girl was when i bought my crocs like it's just that was still just coming out i just knew people wore crocs again and i liked them so i got crocs yeah like i had crocs like in high school when this wasn't a thing there were like lots of people who wore vans before I don't know. Yeah, but it's vans, just, it's just vans definitely vans the style, and like we're just grouped into it because we're girls that wear. The issue is that we wear the same thing always. It's um, a whole outfit. Like you need to have yeah. a scrunchie, you need to have an oversized shirt, and right. your vans. And like since that's like uh, it, the whole outfit style, like everyone wears it all the time. Yeah. But see, I don't wear oversized shirts. I don't have a hydro flask. I don't think you are literally a visco girl unless you get a hydro flask. I really don't. Add Hallie's. <laughs> I 
hate when I don't mentally prepare myself for the food to be bomb, and I did not mentally prepare myself to eat that last pretzel, and I looked down and it's gone. Mm -hmm. Bro. Quick Applebee's food review. Chicken quesadilla, amazing. The pretzels with cheese, amazing. Spanish artichoke dip, amazing. <laughs> I should have gotten This all was that. literally such a good meal. Applebee's might be one of my favorite restaurants of all time. Look out the barbecue wings. They're good. The fries aren't not bad. Applebee's is just so good. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll just do it in the car because you're whispering. Peace out, bro.